Big Bear, I have utterly defeated Riel at Batoche, with great loss, and have made prisoners of Riel Poundmaker and his principal chiefs, also the two murderers of Payne and Truman, and I expect that you will come in with all your prisoners, your principal chiefs, and give up the men who committed murders at Frog Lake. If you do not, I shall pursue and destroy you and your band, or drive you into the woods to starve. Signed, General Fred Middleton. Frontier Center for Public Policy has come a long way from its humble beginning in April of 1999. Founded by Peter Hawley, the Frontier Center operated from a small office in Winnipeg's Exchange District. Today, as it celebrates its 10th anniversary, the organization boasts three offices, one each in Manitoba, Saskatchewan and Alberta. The Frontier Center is an independent public policy think tank which received educational charity status in 1999. It's like a private university, except it has the freedom to explore controversial ideas. The Frontier Center addresses the Prairie region's economic and social challenges and actively explores new solutions. The organization's mission is to develop and popularize better policy choices that will help Canada's Prairie region live up to its vast but unrealized economic potential. As intellectual entrepreneurs, Think tanks are free to explore new ideas and policy initiatives unconstrained by the pressures political parties face to be popular at the polls. Unlike lobby groups which often represent only the narrow interests of their members, think tanks like the Frontier Center enrich public debate, strengthen democracy and advance policies for the good of the whole country. The Frontier Center produces publications, commentaries, events and multimedia broadcasts in 10 project areas including the environment, health care, education, aboriginals, poverty, housing, water, and local government. The Frontier Center currently employs over a dozen people and has some of the most knowledgeable policy experts around the world on its expert advisory panel. In 2008, the Center produced 138 publications, held 37 events, gave 137 media interviews, and hosted 185,000 unique visitors who downloaded 13.7 million pages of information from the Frontier Center website. The cumulative media footprint reached an audience of 261 million people, generating a measured PR value of almost $10 million. The thing that sets the organization apart is that Frontier does not seek or accept any government funding. It is highly unlikely that governments would fund work or policy thinking that criticizes the existing policy order. That is why we frequently turn down offers or suggestions of public funding. It would be too easy to go with the flow and accommodate the hand that feeds. When we started the Center, we decided to focus on new thinking and difficult topics where the debate and dialogue is limited or had become very stale. Think of health care, where Frontier is pushing the envelope with comparisons of Canadian health care with European health care. Since its inception, the Frontier Centre has won several awards for think tank excellence. In 2006, the Centre was named a winner of the Templeton Freedom Award of Think Tank Excellence. More recently, Frontier was identified as one of the most influential public policy institutes in North America by the University of Pennsylvania in a global survey of think tanks.